Hello girls, it's time for Nail Art Friday and this is the design we're going to be working on today. It's extremely easy to get it done girls, very easy to do. The first thing you girls are going to have to do is you're going to have to choose your background color. I chose a white just because I wanted the orange to pop out a little bit more. And the orange one is the one I chose as an accent color. So you can choose any accent color you want. I chose orange like I said, I'm using a neon orange. So once you've got your background color, which like I said, I chose white, I'm already also wearing my hydrating base coat. Um, I'm going to use a makeup sponge. And what I'm going to do with the makeup sponge, it's just a regular makeup sponge, girls. I'm going to glop my brush with the neon orange. So all I'm going to do is that. Okay, just one time because my color is very strong. So now that I've glopped it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it not straight. I'm going to apply it sideways, but only at the very tip, like that. So the reason I'm doing it sideways is because I want dimension in it. I don't see, you could notice there's no, no white, no orange there, and then on this side there is. We want dimension to it. So now that I've done it once, I'm going to redo it again because we want depth to it. We want some areas to look darker, we want some areas to look lighter. So I'm just going to pay attention to the middle and towards the top like that. So I'm going to do it one more time and this time I'm only going to apply it to the very tip like that and I'm going to apply it to the tip of my nail hole like that. So now you girls can also see that I have some orange going on on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the opposite side of the sponge, the makeup sponge, the thin part of the makeup sponge. This way I can get into the little areas from the bottom of the nail. And this time I'm going to apply it sideways on the bottom area. Just sideways like that. And it's nothing neat because um, That'll add more to the effect. So all I'm doing is applying it to the bottom area like that. Okay, so we're done with the sponging part. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get my glopping piece of paper and I'm going to glop it with black polish. Now that I'm glopping it with the black polish, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the thin part of my nail daughter, the small one, and I'm going to start doing shapes those kinds of shapes you see there. Just any random shapes you want is fine. So I'm going to start by um, just doing lines like that. Okay, And then on the opposite side I'll go a little bit higher. Okay, And then just like any design you choose to do is fine. Um, if you can see on this side I even have dots and it all adds to the effect. So I'm going to fill this one in, okay, fill it all the way in. At the top I'll do something like that, then I'll do another lower one right here. Okay, I'm going to go off my paper again. And all I'm going to do is that, girls. I'm going to work my way all the way to the bottom, doing that same exact process you see there. And it's up to you. Some of them you can do them um, a little bit more towards the middle, like you could do a line towards the middle like that. And you're just going to the sides. It's very easy to do. Nothing complicated at all. All I'm doing is that. And you can also use your um, sharpened pencil. Anything you choose to do, it's up to you. And just do shapes. And if you think it'll help you, you could get a pattern. Maybe like a tiger pattern. Okay. So all I'm doing is that. Okay. And I'm done with the uh, tiger markings. Yeah, I'm all done with my tiger markings. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the original orange I have on the background. I'm going to glob my piece of paper with that. So your accent color that you choose 
that's the one you're going to be using. So I'm gonna, what I'm, the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to, if you could see that, I'm going to outline some of the black lines, not all of them. Or it's up to you if you want to do all of them. But I chose um, not to do all of them, but it gives it a little bit more of dimension. Okay. So all I'm going to do is that. I'm outlining some of them. Okay. And I'm going to work work my way. Okay, so you could see there. I'm just dotting certain ones and then some of them I'm just leaving them alone. Let's see, we could outline that one a little more. Okay, so that's all I'm doing, just outlining some of them. And the last one I'm going to outline is going to be that one, right? Oh, I see another one I could outline. I could probably outline this one as well. Okay, and well, it looks like I'm probably going to do all of them. Okay, so that's how you girls are going to get this look. It's very easy to do it. Okay, so that's it, girls. That's how you girls are going to get this look. I hope you guys like it and you try it out in your favorite colors. Have a great weekend, girls. Bye.